Chief X, the God best reincarnated with some more common sense science. So, after the drama, I've been reflecting, right? Check this out. Any way you flip it, Kanye was dead wrong. And let me tell you why. Choice, okay? Choice in this context, meaning choice to end slavery or choice to get out of slavery for the period of 400 years. That's the context, let it go no, that's the context, let it go no further. So check it out. Horror, pain, hellfire, fear. Christians remain loyal to their faith simply because all religions use a fear factor and that fear factor is hellfire. If you don't believe and obey, you will burn in hell forever and ever and ever. And guess what? It's going to be some serious pain for infinity, right? They say gnashing teeth. You know, you gnash your teeth because it motherfucking hurts. You goddamn going to break your teeth. That's what it's trying to say because you bite them down so goddamn hard from the pain of that hellfire. Fear factor in religion. It self-checks you. You will check yourself because of the thought of pain. That's a horror. Mixed martial arts. The, the sport mixed martial arts, the UFC. Let somebody get an arm bar on you and almost break your damn arm. That's called pain. And guess what you do? Tap out because it hurts. It's painful. You submit and bow down and bow the fuck out. Because of pain and affliction of pain and getting your arm broke. You may have one out of a hundred nutcases that say, oh, fuck it, break my arm. And he ain't no good. But pain checks you. It self-checks you. You would do anything. Somebody have you in a, a headlock and they choking and you about to pass out, you, you tap out. You know what's about to happen. You about to pass out. Somebody might piss on you. Pain and horror of death. When a baby, see, they say the two natural fears you're born, you're born with are loud noise and falling. Wisdom. Check. You got a baby in the crib? Drop a book on the floor, slap the table. <laughs> that baby's gonna start crying. Fear of loud noise you're born with, instinctually, naturally. Fear of falling. Do this with a baby. The baby's gonna jump. Cause you don't want you fear the unknown. You're falling. You didn't lost control. And all you can think about is death and destruction. Even as a one day old baby. Fear, pain, horror, self checks you. That's what slavery was about. People didn't have a choice to end or stop slavery because of fear. Pain, affliction. It's called this Holocaust. It was a horrific time period did you forget see everybody's remixing Kanye's words and trying to say he meant that no he said 400 years it was a choice as if we could have ended or got out of slavery we couldn't we had no choice in the context that I initially said to end slavery or get out of slavery, we had no choice. And that's the context Kanye meant. So I asked some folk on a post earlier, hey, 
How many of you cats on Facebook talking, living lavish? You can go to the refrigerator and get a cold glass of lemonade, right? And you reflecting that for another people's, the ancestors' horror afflicted on them. And you want to justify something. They, no, 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 no. They had no choice. Let me bring you back to reality and drop some wisdom after listening and hearing a lot of people. I'm big brother. So I asked, how many of these cats, when they knew they was facing prison time, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 years life, ran and become a fugitive, booked, without getting caught. These people couldn't run in a country, on a large plantation, in land. There was no freeways. You couldn't get in a car and drive. You couldn't hitchhike. Say, hey, give me a ride here. Somebody gonna say, what the fuck is you doing and who are you and where are you going? And bring you back and make an example to the other slaves. And show them a horror that will be afflicted on them if they try and run. They had no choice. They didn't want to face pain just like you. If somebody have you in an arm bar and a hold in a mixed martial arts fight, you will lick the bottom of somebody's shoe to get out because of that pain. You will lick the bottom of a shoe because of pain. Let's keep it real. So what did you expect our ancestors to do? They had no choice. You don't, you, you don't recall or know about slavery when, they, when them white boys are sitting on horses with rifles pointing at the field when they picking cotton? You forgot about that. They would shoot sweet little sister uh, 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 um, sister Sally and kill her, shoot her down. To make an example. Self-check. Pain. Fear. Horrors. Of slavery. They had no choice. Let's keep it real. Didn't nobody who knew they was going to prison run and get away. They went to court and faced it. And went to motherfucking prison. Federal prison. State prison. Or wherever they went. And faced their crime. And bowed down and submitted because they had no choice. Tough guys. They had no choice. And then when they got in there, they didn't fight the COs. Correction officer. They was in self-check. Right? So, uh, um... They didn't, they didn't kill themselves. I'm not doing this motherfucking 30 years being a slave, being an inmate. I'm not doing 30 years. They didn't do that. They didn't kill themselves. They didn't hang themselves and get out of slavery, kill yourself. Whether I kill somebody and get shot like Nat Turner or whatever, <coughs> I'm still dead and of no use. I can't put my mind to use and help make a plan for somebody else. I make a plan for myself. The first thing by nature we want to do is the first by 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 nature self preservation is 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 one of our first instincts. Other than those two fears of falling and loud noise, self preservation to save yourself from death and be strong. A cancer survivor. You're trying to save yourself. You're trying to live. Self-preservation. You don't want to die. You don't want to get shot and killed. You want to live. And you want to live. To you want to live and live to fight another day. Live to plan and plot another day. Face whatever you got to do and do something real or heroic. We had no choice in those 400 years. 
What happened was we began to develop and, and, and became diplomatic and, and smart. Uh, uh, we desensitized some people and things happened. We wasn't no punks. To say we had, say we had a choice and didn't end slavery is another way of saying my people were some punks. My West African ancestors wasn't no punks. I know y'all are not saying that. You are, in a sense, not unknowingly. My ancestors wasn't no punks. You said they bred the best, the toughest, the baddest, the most athletics. They had all these bucks. You, or you said they was punks and they couldn't free themselves. People need to study the subject of slavery a little more. And stop sitting back in their lavish ways right now being spoiled and not understanding the plight of the ancestors. I just wanted to add a little wisdom to it. I had a whole bunch more to say. You know, um, um, but I just wanted to clarify some things and give people another perspective, whether you agree with me or not. That's a proper perspective I gave you. And now you have a better understanding. You know what I mean? So I had to add some wisdom to it. So, you know, like, reflection is good. But remember, pain, horror, fear, and reflection, hellfire. Christians stay in check because of pain. The thought of pain and hellfire. This is what happens when you're under a yoke of horror. Jeep, <laughs>